Hey guys, my name is Danny Johnson with Open Water Concepts. Uh, we're a fully mobile certified fabricator based out of Stewart, Florida. Um, today we're down here in Palm Beach Gardens. We're going to show you a step-by-step -step on how to do an installation on a sea hunt. Before we stick anything down, we take acetone and we wipe the entire boat down of any areas that are going to get sea deck on it. Um, this removes any dirt, debris, grime, um, any substance that could get in and affect the adhesion between the sea deck and the um, surface. So before we stick anything down, we'll go ahead and line up all of the pads. Make sure that the gaps are equal around the hinges. Everything looks good before we go ahead and put it down. So to start each pad, we flip it over and then pull the wax paper back a couple inches. So when you pull it off a few inches, it leaves the C-deck pad just a, a little above it so you can get it aligned before it sticks. Once you get everything aligned, go ahead and stick down that leading edge. And then slowly work the wax paper back. So as you're pulling the wax paper back, Make sure to work from where you stuck it to make sure there's no air bubbles left up under the sea deck. Similar to a sticker. The glue that's on the back of the sea deck is a pressure sensitive adhesive. So we try and put as much pressure on it as we can to make sure the adhesion's good. You can touch the glue on the back of the sea deck, but try to limit it as much as you can so it doesn't affect the adhesion. When you've stuck the pad, what we do is we'll work around the entire edge to make sure that it's totally sealed off and so air and water can't get in and penetrate it. So before we put the pads on the ground to lay it out, um, we'll go ahead and wipe off any dirt, debris, dust, anything that could get on the deck before we go ahead and stick it down. Starting in the cockpit's a little different than the bow seating area, just because you have to be wary of the spacing in between all of the pads. Typically what we do is we'll start up on the bow, stick the pad about three quarters of the way down, and then go ahead and stick the pad that's directly behind it so we can line up the gap before you stick the rest of it down. Sometimes when you're doing the install and you have excess paper that you've already pulled off, it's easier just to flip the pad over and rip off the excess. That way it's not in the way when you're sticking down the rest of the pad. 
As you're working the pads down, be mindful of the obstructions that are on there. Typically the feet for the hard top or T-top um, need to be lined up as far as the spacing going around it. Before sticking the rest of the first pad, we typically peel back the leading edge of the pad just behind it and line it up to make sure that the gap is the same. This comes into play, especially when we're doing teak lines and they all have to line up going from bow to stern throughout the entire boat. The sea deck pad itself is fairly malleable, so if you do have to stretch it a quarter inch or so, you know, you should be able to do it by pressing on it firmly and then working it back as you're going. If you ever need to tighten up a gap like this, what you can do is pull the paper back. Kind of pull on it so it stretches a little bit and as you're stretching it, push down on the C-deck and you can get it to stretch just as much as you need. Typically before we leave, uh, we'll go ahead and roll the whole boat out. The adhesive that's on the back of the sea deck is pressure sensitive. So let's just make sure that the adhesion is, is good. Um, also, if there's any bubbles um, that come up, you know, air can get trapped up under the sea deck. Typically there's always, you know, two or three bubbles. What we do is work it to a head. Um, and then we have a really small gauge needle that we'll use to just go ahead and, and pop it. That lets the air out but it doesn't affect the adhesion at all. Uh, we're just wrapping up on the sea hunt. Um, hopefully you guys found this video useful. Um, go ahead and click subscribe below if you want more videos similar to this. Um, if you're in the Orlando, Daytona, up and down the Treasure Coast, feel free to give us a call to come out and get your boat scanned. Hopefully we can do one like this for you.